Hello and welcome. It is Richard McCann here from the I Can Academy. I hope you're doing well and keeping your spirits up. How are you all doing? I'm doing fine here, but it is challenging. We've got to take one, we're going to say one day at a time, but actually it's one hour, maybe even one minute at a time. Just get through that minute, then the next minute, then the next day, get your head down on the pillow, get up and start again. That's all we can do. Right, I'll start off with the free presentation tip. Now, in the work that I do as a presentation skills coach, both when I work one-to-one at my boot camps at my Gravitas Speaker Retreat, there's something that keeps coming up. And that is by those delegates that I work with. What do I do? Or I feel anxious when I speak in front of people that know more than me. It's a good question. And it's a situation that you might find yourself in. So here's one of the ways in which you can deal with it. In fact, I had to deal, deal with it. It's about a year ago, I think now. NHS, doctors, surgeons, clinicians, a whole, whole host of people. And I was out of my depth. Sorry, I wasn't. I felt intimidated. So I owned that. I walked on stage just after the MC had opened the event. And I paused. I looked around like this. Do you know something? I've been sat down there watching this celebrity from TV opening the conference, in, introducing me on stage. And I've been looking around the room, who's in the room. And I've worked out there must be, I don't know, thousands of years of experience. So many qualifications in this room. And I'm sat here as the opening speaker with none. I started to feel a bit intimidated. But then I remembered something. Aside from your years of experience and your qualifications, you know what we've got in common? All of us, in fact. We're all human beings. And I know from the 50 years that I've now been on this planet that being a human being can be tough. And we all experience, experience challenges from time to time. Now that's what I know a little bit about. I've probably got a PhD in adversity, a pretty high dose of adversity. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share with you over the next 45 minutes what I went through, how I dealt with it, but more importantly, how you might be able to apply some of this stuff to the challenges or adversity that you might go through in your lives. And if not you... Maybe those around you. And if not now, at maybe some point in the future. I basically owned the fact that I've got no qualifications and it won them over. I did a great job. They, they, I mean, if you start like that, you're, you're, all, you're all already saying, here, I'm okay up here. And I'm going to talk about what's on my mind, that thing that's causing me anxiety or making me feel anxious. And then you feel less anxious about it. So there's a presentation to right from the off. Now, talking of presentations, look at this one. Whoa, not that one. <laughs> hey. I want to show you this poster. Look at that beauty. I am giving an online virtual presentation to a thousand people from all around the world. What have we got? Iraq, Ghana, Italy, Turkey, Tanzania, New York, New York. So good they named it twice. And I'm doing that presentation. I'm, do you know what? I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon. So um, the reason that I'm doing that is because they've seen me doing these virtual presentations on here. So uh, as crazy as these might come across... And as off the cuff as they are, more or less, uh, people are enjoying them. So that's outside my comfort zone. A thousand people globally will have to work on the Yorkshire accent and maybe s smooth it out a little bit and enunciate my words a little bit. Talking of enunciating words and such like, here we go. No, not enunciating words. Talking of giving presentations. I'm giving that one on Saturday. But on Thursday, if you're interested, if you have not heard my ICANN keynote presentation, I'm delivering it for free on Thursday, 10 a.m., Online, via Zoom, a bit like this. And do you know what? There's resilience running throughout the whole presentation. If there was ever a time that we could do with a bit of resilience, now is that time. So if you're interested in that, write down a webinar below and I will send you a link tomorrow. That's Wednesday. And I'll hopefully see you on Zoom on Thursday at 10 a.m. This is not for 100 people per company. There's only 100 spaces. So it's just for individuals, not like your 20 sales people. If you're interested in working with your team, let me know. And talking of working with teams... I've got another virtual I Can Speak bootcamp coming up on Friday 1st of May, 9.30 or 12.30. We did one on Friday, which went really well. Learned a thing or two, by the way. It worked well. Should have given them joining instructions. But anyway, we got through it. They loved it. And if you're interested in presentation skills, why don't you use this downtime to upskill yourself? And I'd like to invite you on it. Just write I Can Speak down below and I'll send you details. And we'd love to have you on there. Five people, six people maximum. And it's for three hours and you will be getting up and giving presentations and being coached by me, who's been speaking now for 15, I'm going to say 13, 15 years with 10 years experience as a presentation skills coach. Do you know, we've had five, over 5,000 people through the I Can Speak program. That's seven habits 
of a highly engaging speaker and I'd like to share it with you. In fact, before I go, I want to share with you a few words from John, who was on that virtual bootcamp on Friday. My name's John McManus. I attended the virtual I Can Speak Bootcamp with Richard McCann on Friday. It was a virtual session delivered by Zoom with Richard and what an amazing experience, what an eye-opener it was, what an absolute in, insight into presentation skills I gain. I feel yeah, so much- Absolutely, <laughs> what an insight. Do you know what? There isn't actually anything complicated about speaking. A lot of it's about courage. And John was telling me that when he first gave his first presentation, they did about five or six, he was feeling a bit nervous, but he did it. And when you do it over and over again, you can become more comfortable. And even better, if you've been coached by somebody, was was a very, well, I was terrified when I first started speaking out. So keep your spirits up. Let me know about the webinar and let me know if you're interested in the presentation skills. Other than that, have a great evening, morning. Depends what time of year it is or what time of day it is, wherever you are on the planet, because we're going global. Or right, on Saturday, take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.